السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انریل انجن فائیو اینڈ لیس رنر سیریز ان دس سیریز وی آر گوئنگ ٹو میک اینڈ لیس رنر گیم فار بوتھ پی سی اینڈ موبائل کنٹرولس اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو اے لاٹ آف تھنگس لائک پک اپ کوائنس اینڈ پروسیجرل جنریٹیڈ ٹائلس اینڈ مینی ادر تھنگس رائٹ نو ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو میک اے کیمرا سسٹم جسٹ لائک اینڈ اینڈ لیس رنر سیریز لائک یو آر سینگ رائٹ نو اینڈ right now the character is moving forward uh, constantly without uh, any pressing key and we can only move our character from left to right but he is moving forward constantly and i'm not pressing any key to move him forward in this tutorial we are going to uh, make a movement system similar to endless runner games so uh, you can also get the project files on my patreon so let's jump into the tutorial I have just created a, a third-person template project inside Unreal Engine 5.4. So, uh, if we play it, we have a character and we can move with our keys WASD. So, the first of all, we will change this character to uh, from Queen to Manny. And after that, we are going to change the camera, which will look something similar to Endless Runner games. And after that, we will uh, adjust its movement to make it as uh, similar to endless runner games. So first of all, in the content, go into the third person folder in blueprints. This is the third person character which you will get if you create a third person template project in Unreal Engine 4. So open it and uh, in the camera, uh, drag it bit up and little bit down let's see okay uh, I think we should need to move it a bit now I think uh, this camera looks good it is uh, something similar to endless runner games and now Right now, in the Endless Runner games, you will notice that you don't need to press any key and the character moves forward automatically. For that, uh, inside the event graph, this is your movement input uh, left-right logic here and the forward-backward logic here. So, we will not change anything in the left-right logic but we will do a little change in the forward and backward logic. So disconnect it and in place uh, search for even tick and connect that here. So even tick takes uh, so even tick takes every frame. So uh, after that this is a scale value. If we give one here the character will move forward. So now I am going to play it and I will not press any key. You will notice I am not pressing any key. Our character is moving forward. Let's uh, play it again. Moving forward. If I press A and D, it can turn left and right. But uh, it is moving forward. Okay, if I make it minus 1, you will notice that it's moving backwards okay so the next thing we are going to do is and uh, definitely in endless runner games uh, we need to delete it we actually we, we don't need any of this so okay from here you can increase the camera speed so I think simply click here press R and increase the scale it more and scale it here and this is your uh, play start in the outliner you can see uh, which thing you are selecting this is a player start and uh, this is a place uh, at which our character spawns so if we play again now we have 
a floor set up something similar to endless runner games and in the next video we are going to make procedural generated floors it means and uh, these floors will start to this floor will start to increase as we move forward so uh, i want to say thanks to virtus learning hub it's a youtube channel and this was the first channel and through which i started to learn unreal engine i don't know he is listening uh, right now or not but i want to say thanks to him and because of him because um, because of his channel and his tutorials i am now able uh, where i am now and i am making my own uh, tutorials so it's a big thanks to him and for you guys thanks a lot for watching and in the next video we will do uh, the procedural generated tile system so till next video allah hafiz